Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. I always try to find new things to do on my channel and now I'm introducing a reaction series where I'm gonna react to the clips you guys sent to me so if you have some cool clips you can most definitely join my new series. So in episode 1 I asked my friends to submit their clips to get this whole series started so let's go. So this reaction videos is something I'm gonna try to make every single week from now on and if you already have some cool clips laying around you can send it to fpvsubmit at gmail.com and I might include it in the next video. So if you are submitting a clip send it to fpvsubmit at gmail.com and leave a short description so I can read it before playing the clip so I understand more about how you shot a clip and where you are located. But the first week is gonna be clips from people I know, so I might have seen them before, but I don't care, I need to kickstart this series somehow, and this was the best solution. And I really hope you're gonna check them out, because I wanna help other pilots get a little boost on their social media, so yeah, let's get to watching the clips. So let's jump straight into the first video. This is a video from Bad Luck FPV. So I have my MacBook right on here and I'm gonna read what Bad Luck FPV sent for the description. It was filmed with a ducted scene and a horse and rider was performing a rehearsed action after numerous horses were expelled from rehearsal by an experienced animal wrangler for being uncomfortable around this drone. So that means that he was using professional horses and drones on a movie set. So yeah, I think that was his point with this. So don't fly around animals that are not used to cameras and drones and stuff because that can end really, really bad. So, let's play the video. Oh, I already digging this. The music. The slow motion. Oh yeah, this looks cool. I always wanted to fly around horses. Got a little wagon there. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going so close. The, the clip was short, but it was like right in the action and I really really liked how he flew he was getting really close to the horses and it doesn't look like they care at all which is a good sign overall really cool clip by like FPV I'm jealous because I want to fly around horses so the next clip is from Varnes FPV he didn't attach a description to the clip but as of the thumbnail it looks like this is some kind of radio tower or something so yeah let's just play the clip Oh yeah, this is this is a really cool winter day. Oh, the dive, the dive! It looks so cool with these frozen, frozen trees and heading straight to the sunset, guys. It's the same thing. It's a short clip, but it's so cool. Like he's getting right into the action and going straight down to the dive. I feel like a lot of people just spend too much time getting to the action, so another great clip and also the color grade and the sunset, superb. So the next clip is from Johnny Snipes aka Snipes FPV and that gotta be the coolest FPV name ever. And he said, filmed in Georgetown, Colorado on the frozen lake with Sierra cars, the weather was beautiful with fresh snow covering the lake, making the drifts or slides look awesome. This was the best FPV experience I've been a part of. Thank you, FPV Stealth and Sierra Cars for your opportunity. So this has to, something to do with cars and ice. I already dig what's going on here, so let's take a look at the clip. That's what's up. I love this. Straight into the action. Super cool follow chase shot. And these cars looks unreal. It looks like a video game. Oh yeah, this guy does a really good job keeping this drift car in the frame at all time. That's that's something that's way, way harder than it looks like. It's two cars in the frame now. Let's see how close he's getting. Oh yeah, that's what's up. The framing is, is on point on these shots. Really cool. Yeah, overall a really really cool clip. I think I'm gonna cut it there because I don't want to make this too long But yeah, a really cool clip and I love how raw the whole feeling of this clip is like he's getting right into the action and The colors looks good and he's also really good at keeping these drift cars in the frame at all times So definitely go check him out 
So next up we have Sunfish Productions and he said this is a video tour of the school with the drone. It's located in Sarasota, Florida at Ringling College of Art and Design. I don't know if he is a student at this school but if he is, cool to make a drone video about it. And he says that it's shot with a Protec 35 with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. This is my favorite setup so I'm super super excited about this. Let's roll the clip. Oh, this is a cool place. For sure. I really like how he just... He's flying so close to stuff and he has a really good control of, of his drone for sure. Oh, going under the bridge. Yes, sir. So it's, it's the same thing. A short clip straight into the action. I love the colors on this. I think this guy has done some collaborating in the past and yeah I think if he nails getting a little tiny tiny little bit better on the throttle control so he doesn't have this too much up and down bouncing on the throttle I think the production is gonna be 100% perfect but Sunfish Productions a really really good submit and I'm looking forward to see what you're coming up with in the future. So the next clip is actually from one of my close friends his name is Håkon or ZMFPV and he wrote, hey, here's a submit of my clip for your project. I hope you find it nice. This one is taking on the Prekestorn, which is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Norway. Really famous place here in Norway, yep. Uh, I had the whole place for myself and I could direct the actors to walk onto the stool. I'm excited for this because I know that I have seen a lot of clips from this place before, but it doesn't have that wow factor that I'm looking for. So let's take a look at this clip. Here's the first actor. This place is unreal, guys. You should really visit it. Oh yeah, he's right out the edge. Oh, and he's going... Do you guys understand the amount of bolts that are needed to go backwards through, like... I gotta watch this again. Okay, so going up to the cliff, he's yawing around and he's just dropping down. That is an insane clip. Um, when he's done with the drop, he's going back up to showcase the hold. Prekestorn. This is a cool clip. And I also really, really like the color grading of this clip. And the music, the whole feel. Like, it just gets... You, you get the chills from watching it. It's because you, like, you, you know that going backwards down a cliff that are hundreds of meters tall is crazy. Really good job. So that was all the clips for this video. If you want to submit your clips, send it to fpvsubmit at gmail.com and we might use your clip in the next video. Until next time, stay safe and send me a clip.